Welcome to uh, Python programming in Maya. Um, over the course of this lesson, we're going to be looking at some Python basics. Um, we're going to do a crash course right off the bat and uh, try to get you up to speed as quick as possible so we can start making some cool tools. I'll just show you some of the things that we're going to work on. Um, the first is a uh, renaming tool. So what this will be able to do is um, if we create some objects, so I'll just create a sphere. And uh, if I select a couple of these, and then I want to add a prefix, um, I can do that. So it will go ahead and add that. You can see everything clears out here. I can go ahead and add a suffix. And then we can also do search and replace. So we could also search for Bob and replace with Tim. Um, so that's the first thing we're going to work on after our crash course. And then the last project, which is a pretty big project, is what you see here on the side, uh, Dr. Nabaya. Um, basically, I rewrote the functionality of the standard open scene, new scene kind of thing. And uh, we can use this as our directory structure for getting files in our scene. So what we can do is we can traverse our directories like this. Um, we can also go ahead and open up a scene. If we go back, we can open up a scene, we can import a scene or reference it. We can import OBJs and FBXs straight from here. So now we get that. And let me turn on Smooth Shaded. We can also we have uh, the ability to apply a texture directly from here. So instead of right clicking and assigning material and then going and finding the file, we can just browse to the file in here, click on this and assign to select it. And then we get a, uh, a texture. So that's gonna be the last pro uh, project that we work on. And of course you can, we, you can see here, we've got uh, file filters so we can fi uh, filter down our um, whatever it finds into more specific uh, file types. We can also do a search field. So we can, if we just want to find uh, an export file, for example, we hit enter, it will just search for that. Um, we can go back and then we can also add a favorite. So we could go and do, uh, I'll do Dropbox. And uh, I could add that as a favorite. If I hover over this, I'll get my full path. Um, that way I can see what that full path is. If I uh, restart Maya or just relaunch this, you'll see that my favorites get saved. Um, and I can just click on a favorite to take me right to that location. So that's what we've got in store. Um, I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next video.